Speaking of data science skills, what tools or skills, Nick, do you think are best for data scientists getting hired? Yeah, again, I love SQL, and that's why we did Data Lemur. But yeah. without keeping to pl- without plugging that again, the main thing is that databases aren't going anywhere, and a common first or second round interview is SQL before you even get to talk to a person and get to impress them with your A/B testing skills or your ML ops skills. Mm-hmm. There's no ML ops first round interview. It's usually a SQL interview or a Python coding interview. Yeah. So those are the two places to really focus on Python and SQL when it comes to just getting hired. And then I think the other tool, well, it's not really a tool, is I think it's good to focus on the things that aren't going out of date, right? Because Python will come and go, SQL may come and go, or different flavors and syntaxes might come and go. Yeah. But just this idea of like, hey, how do we store data well? How do we structure tables or organize data better? How do we draw insights from them better? How do I communicate those insights better? Those are the things that I think that people should be focusing on and leveling up the most, because I can tell you 30 years from now, we're still going to be asking and answering the questions of how do we organize data? How do we analyze it? And then how do I communicate those results to people who might not be as technical as me? So that's what I find the most interesting thing for people to focus on because learning Postgres 14 or MySQL server, whatever version they're on, yeah, it's okay, but 